What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial we're going to be talking about clash detection in Revit. So one of the great things about BIM or building, uh, uh, building information modeling is the fact that you can do clash detection. So you can figure out before actual construction if there are going to be some clashes between maybe the structural elements and some of the, some of the installations, some of the electrical uh, plumbing installations, uh, HVAC, things like that. So uh, one of those great things is uh, clash detection and that's what makes a BIM so amazing but I don't see many people talking about how can Revit be used for uh, clash detection usually it's left to Navisworks or something like that but uh, in this tutorial I did want to show you some of the Revit features that are actually dedicated to clash detection and you can actually do it within Revit so that's what we're going to be exploring in today's tutorial. Uh, but first, before I get into that, if you want to get all of my Revit project files, check out my Patreon first, a link in the description. There you can find all of these project files, the files that I'm going to be using for uh, this tutorial, and also all of my advanced courses. I make these one hour long advanced courses each week. I've got over 40 or 45 hours of content up on my Patreon. So again, as I said, first link in the description, uh, check it out if you're interested in something like that. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get into the tutorial. The first project that I'm going to be using for demonstration is going to be this this simple uh, house in Revit. Uh, I did a five-hour course where I shown you completely how to do all of the project documentation for uh, for this simple building. Now, what I'm going to do is just head on here to the uh, zero zero floor plan. Here, as you can see, we have a fairly complex uh, floor plan with all of the detail elements, but that's really not important. What is important are all of the construction elements. So, for example, here in the walls, uh, walls are uh, just some sort of a cinder block, but then we have a uh, we have concrete elements like this uh, concrete column over here. And as you can see, we have multiple elements like that. Now for clash detection, what I'm going to be showing you is how can Revit figure out which elements are overlapping and where do we have some problems. So what I'm going to do now is head over here to the Collaborate tab and here we have the Interference Check uh, tool. Now I'm going to open up the drop menu. Now here we have a couple of options. You have the last report and then you have the run interference check. Now if you haven't run any uh, reports on your project, your this is going to be grayed out. In this case I have, so we have that option. Uh, but ju just now for demonstration purposes, I'm going to click here to uh, run it from the beginning. Let's maybe move this off to the side like this or yeah let's move the interference check menu here uh, now here uh, there is a couple of settings that you have to set up now first here we have categories from and we're going to be talking about this later on uh, on a different project where this actually matters and this one it really doesn't so in this case we have the current project for both of these and here we have to choose uh, one or more categories from each column so you're seeing do you have interference from one of these two so in this case, what I'm going to be doing is checking walls on one of these and then structural columns on the other. So here we have those walls and then we have those uh, uh, concrete columns within those walls. And I want to see, are they overlapping or are they merged geometry? So what I'm just going to do now is click OK. And here we have the interference report. Now, what's really good is you can navigate through your model. You can go around, maybe go to the 3D view, whatever. You can, you can play around with the model even though uh, this menu is still up. So you can check everything out. So here, as you can see, we have uh, some uh, some interference, of course. So let's maybe expand this menu a bit. Okay. So here, if I select any of these elements, you're going to notice that elements will highlight in the model. So for example, if I select this uh, element, you're going to see that here we have this whole wall highlight. Now, if I open up the menu for that, uh, you're going to notice that it's going to say here we have a structural column. Let's see, where is it? Here it is. So this structural column is overlapping with this wall. Now if we select the whole uh, subcategory, it's going to highlight both the wall and the structural column. And here you can just pinpoint where this is happening. So as you can see, we have a problem there. So let's check out do we have problems anywhere else. So here, for example, we have this wall and this is the column in question. As you can see, if I open up that menu, 
Yeah, so this is the column and this is the wall. Now let's see how can we fix this. So what I'm going to do now is close off this interference check and I'm going to go here to the modify tab and then I'm going to be using the join geometry tool. Now what this allows us is to merge this geometry. So in this case Revit is counting the uh, the volume of this wall and it's counting even this uh, even the volume here where we have a column. Now that shouldn't be you shouldn't really cut, uh, count this area. And the problem is we don't have this geometry joined. So if I just go here to join geometry, it's going to merge these two and it's basically going to cut this column out of the wall. So it's not going to count this, uh, this volume for that cinder block. It's only going to be concrete for the column. And let's do that here as well. Okay, let's join this. I think, yeah, it belongs to this. We can do it same thing here for this wall. Okay, this one is merged, I guess. So you can just go all around merging this geometry. Playing around. Okay, let's cancel out of that. There we go. Okay, so we have done some adjustments. We have merged some of these walls. So if I go back to the Collaborate tab, and now if I go here to the Interference check, let's go Show Last Report. This is the report. Now I'm just going to refresh that. And there we go. Now we have a much shorter report. So we have this wall this wall and this wall and the rest don't have any problems so we have fixed this problem with interference we have fixed this problem now this wall still has that just because we haven't merged these columns so that's basically how Revit can show you where you're having problems with overlapping geometry now let's take a look at this plumbing project. So basically here we have a project for plumbing for, for that same exact house. Now the architecture project has been brought uh, in as a link, as you can see here. And then we have all of the, all of the plumbing uh, just modeled in this project. Now what we're going to be doing in this uh, tutorial is basically we want to see is there any interference between the piping and the geometry of the architecture model. So what I'm going to do in that case is let's go here to the uh, floor plan and then uh, let's go here to the uh, to the collaborate tab. Now I'm just going to go to interference check and then go to run interference check and here we're going to now be using these categories from. So for the first one uh, we can choose either current project or the imported uh, residential house project. So I'm just basically going to set this one up to current project and this one to residential house in Revit. And here I'm going to go with pipes and here I'm going to go with walls. So I just want to see are the pipes interfering with some of the walls. So I'm just going to click OK. And then there we go. We have this interference report. And as you can see, we have a lot of stuff uh, that's uh, just overlapping. So what I'm just going to do here is select one of these. And as you can see, that's referring to this wall over here. So perhaps to see it a bit better, let's go here in 3D. There we go. And what I'm going to do is select just a few of these elements like this. Go here to the section box. Oops. Let's go back. Let's try again. There we go. Okay. So we have a section box here and let me expand it just a little bit so it kind of grabs the whole kitchen area. There we go. So here we have some pipes, we have the wall, and we have all of the pipes that are going through that wall. And if we highlight this, the whole wall will highlight. So let's just open this one up. Let's see where's the pipe. And here it is, it highlights in orange. So this is the pipe in question, and here it enters the wall, so there is interference between those two. And then we can see, okay, here we have the interference between the wall and this pipe over here. If I just select the pipe, there we go. That's the pipe in question. So you can just go through this menu and then you can basically search throughout your whole project and see where do you have interference between pipes and walls and do you have to make some adjustments, make some openings or something uh, like that. Now there is just one more thing that I would like to show you which I find annoying about this clash detection in Revit and maybe you know a solution to this. I, I found this problem. So here as you can see we have these uh, universal beams, a quite a large beam, and then I've uh, modeled just a piece of rectangular ducting that goes through that. Now here it's basically cutting through it, it's overlapping or it's 
uh, it, it it shouldn't be like this and here I've done the same thing and this is just an oval duct but pretty much the same thing but here we have an opening modeled on the on the uh, on the on the beam now if you don't know how to make that opening let me just select it and then hit delete or can I delete it there we go. So to make an opening on uh, on steel elements, you just go here to the steel tab and then you go to contour cut. There we go. You select the plane. Then you can go with the rectangle. Maybe we can add a radius of 50 millimeters. And then you basically make a cut. And there we go. We have an opening. Now, if you want to learn uh, a bit more about this, I have a whole course, a whole four hour far uh, Four part course on steel in Revit. So if you are interested in that, check out my Patreon. I have that course as well. So anyways, here we have that opening, but still, if I go here to the collaborate tab, go to interference check, run interference, and then we can go here to ducts in one and then structural framing in the other and then click OK. You're going to notice that both of these pop up as problematics. So if I select this, here we have a problem. This is seeing interference and this is seeing uh, interference uh, as well so I, I i don't know why that is we do clearly have an opening and it should work but for some reason it doesn't so that's that's just a problem that they found and if you perhaps know a solution to this how to fix it please uh, please tell me in the comment section below that would be really helpful if not then yeah too bad autodesk please fix this Anyways, so that's pretty much it for uh, this quick tutorial. I hope you, I have shown you something new and got you interesting in this interference check or clash detection in Revit. Uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. And also, if you want any of the project files that I've used in this project or any of my other Revit project files, I've got over 300 files so far, uh, check out my my Patreon. Also there we, I have all of the advanced courses that I've mentioned uh, here today and also I've got a bunch more. I've got over 45 hours of content there. Okay so that's pretty much it for uh, today's tutorial. Thank you for watching and I'll be back in a couple of days with a new tutorial. Have a nice day.